y'all. I went to go see a Lego Movie second part in theaters. And it's, uh, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna stop that. Half my channel just unsubscribed for me just for that. I, I'm so sorry. So I went to go see Lego Movie's second part in theaters. Wow, it was really good. Like, I was not expecting it to be that good. I, I My biggest worry was that it was not going to be as good as the original. And it's not, but at the same time, it's pretty damn close. Like, it's like, we have like the Lego Movie, top tier. Lego Movie 2 is like right here. Like, it's like right there. It's pretty good. It misses the mark in a few places, but it makes up for it with a lot of other little attributes that I love so much. The movie is so jam-packed full of things, and from pretty much every scene I was smiling. They did a good job with this. Music, incredibly catchy, really, really good. Queen Whatever I Wanna Be's introductory song is fantastic, especially paired with the actual visuals of the movie, so don't go look up the song. Go watch that scene, because it is really good, and it's very vibrant, and it's very expressive. That's the whole movie. Obviously, these LEGO movies are not shy of being expressive. This has been the thing for a long time. But it's really overdone here because of the way that the characters can be. Queen Whatever I Want to Be is like a shape-shifting alien, so she can do whatever the heck she wants to do. And that really works for songs. It makes all the songs so much more enjoyable to listen to when you have these amazing visuals. Speaking of visuals, the whole movie is just fantastic to look at. It's so colorful, it's so vibrant. The alien planets are all unique and distinct. There aren't that many alien planets in the movie, which is a shame. You know me, I like my aliens, so I wish they kind of went a little bit more with some of them. There's some cool stuff, but I wish there was just a little bit more, you know? It's just, they, I feel like they didn't go all the way. They should have went all the way. But everything else is really, really fun and unique and interesting. All the main characters continue to grow in a very natural way. You know, you have Emmett, he's growing as a person. He's kind of changing as a character, but for the better, you know? He's becoming less of an oblivious child like he was in the first movie and more of a realized person. Lucy, your wild style, she's much more well-defined. She's much more... You get what she wants, you get what she... <laughs> she's going through a very natural part of her life. Which is weird to say about a Lego person. That feels really strange. The side characters don't really get that much development, but Batman probably has the most screen time out of all the other side characters, but everyone else is kind of cast as side in this movie. Still have their moments, but not nearly as good as they were in the first movie. Benny, Metalbeard, Unikitty, all kind of pushed aside, which is a shame, because they were really fun characters in the first movie but hey we got to make room for all these new boys as i said before queen whatever i want to be is a very fun character tiffany haddish does a great great job bringing this character to life she's so vibrant she's so expressive and that's mostly because of the animation but the voice helps too rex is another good character and there were a lot of surprises with him that i did not expect um he's actually very enjoyable to watch you think he's like the chad emmett <laughs> so he comes in and he's like Hey, I'm the cooler Emmett. And he like tries to hit on Wildstyle, but none of that actually happens. He, he's, he actually, they play with expectations a lot. And that's what I like about this movie. They really do pull a lot of twists and punches out of it. And all those punches result in some emotional moments. My lord, this movie gets emotional. If anything, the movie did a great, great job with establishing an emotional connection to all these characters. And you get to see a lot of genuine moments and they do a great job at trying to showcase them. So props to the filmmakers for pulling that off. I don't really have much else to say, I've kind of spoken my mind about it, but there's probably tons of stuff I'm forgetting to talk about that I'm going to regret in the future. Oh well, here's the LEGO Movie ranking scale. We got LEGO Movie at the very top, it is a classic, classic movie, one of my favorite animated movies of all time. Then we have the LEGO Movie 2. This movie is a perfect successor to the LEGO movies. It's exactly what I want. You guys know me, I'm, an, I'm a weirdo, I like space and aliens and stuff, so this movie did a lot of that kind of stuff, and I love it for it. Then we have LEGO Batman, a very, very fun movie about here's superheroes. I like making fun of superheroes, I love breaking down conventions and stereotypes, and it was a really fun movie. All the LEGO movies are fun. They're all fun and enjoyable. Anybody can get something out of the movie. Then I'd say the weakest is LEGO Ninjago movie. It's not terrible, but it's also not a good LEGO movie. It's a great movie, 
but not a good Lego movie. It just kind of staggers in a few places. It doesn't really have the same charm as Batman or Lego movie. Obviously, if you haven't seen this movie, I'd say go check it out right now. It just came out very recently, so obviously it's still kind of fresh news. Um, I think it came out this weekend, but either way, it's a good. It's, it's a real good, so uh, go check it out. It's not even directed by the same guy. I think it's directed by someone else, although the original directors did the screenplay. Would have been cool if we got them back on the project. I, I did notice that there was a lot of like uh, jokes that they would have wrote completely differently. And that's kind of a sacrifice of them not being involved because I believe they were attached to Solo at the time. Nonetheless, it still does a really good job at being a great Lego movie. I, the way the movie ends, it kind of concludes the story, you know? It kind of says, hey, we don't need a sequel, but we're probably going to make one anyways. I'm 100% down for Lego Movie 3. Can't decide if I like this or Spider-Verse better. I think they're kind of both tied for me, but I have a bias towards Lego, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. Just go check it out. It's totally worth your time and money. It's so good. Ah, well, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry if this video was kind of lazy. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Bye, guys.